You're watching The Open here on BNM Bloomberg. We were mentioning in our newscast that Indigo, the retailer, has received a proposal from its controlling shareholder to take the company private. Trilogy, an investment vehicle tied to Onyx founder and chairman Jerry Schwartz, offering $2.25 per share for the Indigo stock that Trilogy doesn't own. That's a premium of more than 50% from yesterday's closing price, so we'll be watching this stock in trading today. But keep in mind, Indigo shares have declined about 85% over the past five years. Schwartz is the spouse of Indigo founder Heather Reisman, who had stepped back into the CEO role in September after the abrupt exit of the previous chief executive. Let's dig deeper into this story. Robert Levy joining us this morning. He is president and CEO of Brandspark International, a retail expert. Robert, thanks very much for being with us. What was your reaction when you saw this news, Pross? You know, it's wasn't a big surprise to me. Mm. I think there's just been so much volatility in this marketplace. And if you think of how you know, a bookstore has evolved over the last number of years, it's become a lifestyle store. So the investments they've had to make, the pivots they've had to make, um, ultimately that's more difficult to do when you're in a public environment, quarter by quarter, earnings by earnings. So I do understand the, the flexibility that you get when you are a private company and you're really looking to continue to evolve to find that, that mix, the, the percentage that's going to be sustainable and create this recurring revenue. You've been actually personally through this kind of experience because you were at Kara and, and sort of went through this. I was when I joined uh, Kara. It was a private company, uh, family owned, the largest restaurant company in the country. Uh, then it went public. Uh, then it went back to being private. We went through it a few times. And I can tell you the, the ability to invest, create new restaurant concepts, to, to innovate, to, to invest in a way that was longer term versus short term. It was dramatically, I think, better experience to be when it was private. Well, um, obviously, there were a lot of headlines last year when we saw the abrupt departure of the previous CEO and Heather Reisman stepped back into the chief executive role. I mean, she had been steadily shifting her focus away from Indigo. Uh, she spoke with Amanda Lang in the fall after she came back into that role. And in that interview, she basically described Indigo as having taking a journey off brand. So what do you think she meant by that? Because I think there is a, certainly a passion for books with Heather Reisman, and it sounds like that's where she wants the business to be longer term. But, but what's your assessment of what's happening in the stores? So I think if you step back to almost look at the brand of Jerry Schwartz and Heather Reisman. They're a unique power couple in this country that mixes entrepreneurship and, um, and wellness and health and, and also giving back and philanthropy. So the, the, the shift into kind of wellness, I think we've all lived through such a um, challenging number of years. When you walk into an indigo now, the curation, the lifestyle, the... the just all of the activities that you can throw yourself into when you're not working and with family has really been kind of a guiding principle. So I do think it's such a different experience because, again, in books, you're competing with Amazon. You've got the highest share of online sales. It's a very hard concept to sustain. So I do understand that the Indigo brand is not what it was a number of years ago. If you look at the newest location at the well itself, a revitalization of what retail means a in big, this country. Big property development a big in Toronto. Big property yeah. development in Toronto, which yeah. is a complete new take on redefining retail. I think that's what they're involved in, and hopefully they'll be successful. Now, this is still a stock market story. This is, is a public company today. It wouldn't be a surprise to see these shares on the move because what's being offered here is above where the shares have been trading. But we're looking at a one year chart, which um, highlights that there's been a downtrend there. And if you look at longer term, charts. I mentioned that over the last five years, Indigo is down about 85 percent. I guess the question for shareholders who are in the minority is going to be, you know, if I bought this a long time ago, how do I feel about this? And if I bought it more recently, thinking that there was actually a lot of upside, you know, Heather's coming back to the company, there's a smart team behind it, there's great opportunity here. Even an analyst at Cormark today in a report sort of put it out there that Trilogy uh, 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 itself was buying stock around $18, $20 back in 2007, 2018. So, I mean, how much value do you think there is in this brand? Target, Nordstrom, Toys R Us, Bed Bath & Beyond. I think when you look at retail and you see what has happened in traditional retail and the challenges that they've had and the volatility of this business and the investment they've had to make, I, I don't think there's any guarantee 
that this is buying just before it's, it's, it's going up. I think it's still going to continue to be risky and challenging. So my sense is the fact that they are investing and continuing to invest in a Canadian retail you know, success story is important, but there's, I think uh, it's going to take a huge investment and I would not be surprised that, you know, that, that there's significant risk uh, like any other major retail. I mean, if those other retailers could not make it in Canada, um, what does that tell you about the Canadian marketplace? But you do think that going private, that the goal here ultimately would to make a stronger indigo? Yes. Yeah. I think it allows them to pivot, not worry about the impact on profitability, that the decisions they've had to make, which is you know a big challenge, let them focus their energies on technology. Um, obviously, the online experience has to be important. They had challenges with that that affected their brand. So I think it's a very challenging environment, and I, I do think it'll give them the flexibility they need. It's going to be an interesting.